So forward, straight forward is about where number one is. And then to the right of that, pretty much 180 from the one is straight down. Just past 180. We are past sunrise, but it's gone behind the clouds over there, so it'll probably pop out in a more. Today I'm going to fly away from the sun. <laughs> okay, so we've got a quantum feed in there. And we have a, a 200 milliwatt, I think it is, um, GoPro compatible VTX, just tucked in the side of the, the 4K up air cam. Now I can't tell all the way forwards, or all the way downwards quite without an antenna touching the floor but once I'm flying that'll be fine and it goes straight up we don't catch anything on the back okay, so top position we've got altitude hold and that's one green flash the bottom position we've got GPS and that's three green flashes middle position Circle me mode. Four green flashes. So let's start up in uh, GPS. Quantum feeds recording. Oh. No, it's not, because we didn't start this camera. Okay, we're at 1080p, 60 frames a second. Okay. We are now recording. And my return to home switch is pushed all the way back. Now that's in GPS hold. Let's just check our quantum feed. That looks good. Slight pulsing, but looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got a decent GPS lock. So once you start it in that mode, it looks like it's just going to keep going.
Okay, so you can control the height while it's circling. I can see only one arm is lit up. Oh no. It's lighting those up, so presumably that's the amount of GPS lock that I've got. There's two red LEDs on each of the rear arms and two blue LEDs on the front. And they pretty much go dim as it's going around there, and then they're just picking up, getting a bit brighter now. Odd. Perhaps that is in relation to the North, East, South, West, but it seems less useful <laughs> than the GPS, um, a denotation of GPS. Ah, straight up. Okay. So we've clicked back in GPS.
Okay. I'm in GPS mode. Okay, so the switch does have to go back. That's not me, that's just coming down where it wants to. Right where I put my quantum. Which is right where I started. Lovely, really well behaved. No thinking, no nothing, it just does. Now, my FPV feed was not amazing up there, but as long as I can see the picture to adjust it, that's fine. Now, I could see ever so slightly full screen on the last video. There was a little bit of shaking in the wind, and it was pretty windy up there as well, so I've just tensioned these just a little bit some cable ties, all four of those, and I still haven't calibrated my GPS or calibrated anything yet on this one. Uh, unfortunately that reduces my left tilt even more, so I'd need a right angle adapter on there and something sticking out the side. Or even a little pigtail extension put in there. But it moves a lot further right than it does left anyway, and now it moves hardly any left. As you can see, that's my GoPro VTX, just powering off a, a single cell battery. Uh, not the best scenario, but good enough for a test. I'll probably mount some FPV gear actually in the, in the nose of it, or down here. Consider it essential to, to know <laughs> what you're shooting. Otherwise, you don't know whether you're totally parallel on with a shot, like uh, like before when I was off kilter with this strip. 